Good morning. I'm officially back at the high school and I will be your teacher for marking period four until the end of the school year. I started last Thursday and I've been helping Miss Gardner wrap up marking period three grades. We made some phone calls, we split up the class list and made some phone calls last week to parents as we are looking for students to turn in the circles unit exam. I have a PowerPoint that I'm about to take you through that will explain how I will be running things uh, in this online format for marking period four. We're living in unprecedented times. Um, the impact of the coronavirus can be both troubling and confusing. If it wasn't for this virus or this pandemic, I would not be back in the classroom as all of my upcoming medical procedures have been canceled uh, until things get back to normal and who knows when that will be. But I'm hopeful and I know that we can get through this together. And I have some cool things that I'm going to show you that I can do from home to help you be most successful in these last few units that we have and just wrapping up marking period four and prepping for the Regents exam as well. So I do want to thank my husband, Brian Simons, who has put together this studio for me in my basement that, you know, will allow me to do some of the cool things uh, I will be showing you momentarily. So let's start the presentation. Okay. Oops. So let me go back to my previous slide. What I hope to do is answer some questions as far as, you know, what to expect. What are the protocols in running this online classroom? What, again, is the grading policy? And two, I want to know what do you need from me? As I mentioned, this is unprecedented times, and I understand that there is uncertainty, but I am committed to be responsive. Okay, we are all in this together. So my goal is to simplify things for you. Everything will be posted or shared in Google Classroom for both students and parents. So you both need to check Google Classroom, okay? Under the stream section, I will be making just general announcements and then in the classwork section, I'm going to be posting the agenda for the day, okay? And it will have the date as the topic. So I'm going to switch screens to show you that. So right now I'm in Google Classroom and I posted this message yesterday. Again, it's in the stream section, so it's an announcement. I would like all of you to fill out this Google form, so students only. I need to know who currently has review book number one and number two. Under the classwork section, as you can see, I have the topic is Tuesday, April 7th. So I was doing this before with the units, but in moving forward, I will be posting the agenda for the day and assignments, so on and so forth, under a topic, under the classwork sec a section is shown here. Okay. I will be using email and phone just for those individual questions or concerns. So if you have any questions or concerns, please do not post those individual questions through Classroom and send me a direct email or give me a phone call. I'm working from home, so I've been making calls using our business line. So once again, for those that I have called already, uh, it has been from the vice versa entertainment phone line. So if that comes up when I'm calling you, once again, that's vice versa entertainment. That is me, Mrs. Simons. For those that I have not called and you want to chat over the phone, please send me an email on when a good time would be to chat, and I'd be more than happy to call you directly. Okay? And then I will be using the school buses to send materials for the rest of the school year. 
Okay, I'm planning that we will be out until June, even though we may not be because I don't want to send things, you know, multiple times home using the bus system. So I, over the weekend and last week, I've printed all of the materials and I'm just waiting to get those back from BOCES to send in one trip or one delivery via the bus. So hopefully by early next week, uh, you will be receiving the similarities unit, the transformational geometry unit, the regents review books if you have not received them, the constructions review packet, the circles quiz one and quiz two, so those were graded and they're sitting on my desk in the math office, I'm told. So I will get those back to you and I will also be sending quarterly assessment four. Now I'm sending the assessments because many of you have stressed a concern in that you want the paper copies. So that's why I'm sending everything at home so you have the paper copies in front of you. You should already have your notebooks. If you need to get into the school for any reason, you can get into the building, okay? So I don't want you to think you can't get in. You just need to, um, there's a number on the front door to call when you need to get into the building. So assessments, I am going to be mailing them home and the plan right now until I actually go into the building to put materials together to see how this is all done is to send you the assessments in envelopes okay sealed envelopes those envelopes are to remain sealed until it's time to take these assessments okay if we go back to school okay at any point and there are some assessments that haven't been given you will be expected to turn into me these sealed envelopes okay so let me just reiterate you cannot open the envelopes until directed to do so they will be clearly marked and any assessments that have not or will not be given in this online learning format will be expected to be returned to me when we go back to school okay what I'd like you to do beginning each day okay or this is actually going to be every other day so I know that I meet with some of my sections on odd days, some of my sections on even days, but I would like to do so that we're on the same page and to help you at home is run for all of my geometry classes and every other day format where we're all together. So I'm essentially going to start this tomorrow. Okay, so math this week for everybody will be Tuesday and Thursday and the next week Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll post more about this in Classroom or remind everyone. So that's why you see when I go into Google Classroom that the first topic or date is Tuesday, April 7th, which is tomorrow. Under this section in Google Classroom, I will be, just as we would in class, the agenda is the same. There will be notes. I'm still going to use the videos that I have right now in YouTube to watch. So you're going to be expected to watch the notes or take your notes. There may be a classwork assignment and the homework assignment. So that's all going to remain the same. And if you have any questions, it is your responsibility to contact me. I may hold some daily chats, weekly chats, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, in the near future. I'm just not quite sure how I'm going to do that. So keep an eye out for those. The homework. What's going to be expected of you is that you turn in your homework in the form of a PDF. So what I'd like you to do this week is practice. So download an app on your phone, Android, iPhone. I have some apps listed there. Um, notes, Cam Scanner, Scanner Pro, Photos to PDF Image Converter, Genius Scan, PDF Element, ScanBot, Evernote Scannable, Microsoft Office Lens, and there are many more. Okay, so the homework assignments and even the assessments when you're turning them in will have to be converted to PDF format and then submitted through Google Classroom as a PDF. 
So I'll be sending out a Google form asking you if you're able to download such an app and practice using it. Take and scan a note page and convert it to a PDF and send it to your mom or send it to yourself to make sure it was attached appropriately and sent in a PDF format. Okay, so look for that form. I'll be checking in to see who is and who is not able to do so. And then I will be contacting you directly to help you with that. For direct instruction, okay, as I said, I'm going to use my videos that I already have pre recorded, but I hope to use direct instruction um, to answer homework questions for one on one help. Okay, and I'd like you to email, or I'll be emailing you to set this up. If you would like to do or meet one-on-one, -on -one, I'll show you some cool things in a second. On what I can do, then send me an email, okay? And two, there may be just some sessions that I post that I'm going to have to answer some general questions. Okay, so what am I able to do at home? Well, we can go back to this main screen where I can record videos and send them home to you. I can, I have a document camera. So this is the similarities reading. So I can use this document cam like I would use the Elmo in class and I can teach, I can do some reteaching, I can do some homework problems with you. Okay, I've already shown you my laptop. Okay, so through meeting one-on-one, -on -one, and I'll probably do this in um, the Zoom platform. So within Zoom, we can, and I've already met with three honor students via Zoom, and it was pretty cool, but I was able to help students in that I can write and talk, right? I can do some teaching or reteaching using the tool. And then the last is, you know, putting me right in the corner uh, so if this is too much missed assignments, then I can put myself in the corner and again do some reteaching using this tool. It's pretty awesome software uh, that my husband, this whole studio, and as I mentioned before, I thank him very much. I would not be able to do any of this without him. So going back to the PowerPoint presentation, make sure I'm pressing the right button, okay. Um, Next slide is to review just the grading policy. So some reminders, remember your formative assessments are 30%. There was an email sent when I went out and that we may be adding and grading some classworks and having that in this category. So this can be quizzes, uh, an online activity, or even a classwork assignment that I assign to you via Google Classroom that I want you to do and turn in. Uh, if it's a quiz, remember they must be done on your own and in order to do quiz corrections, you have to have all of your homework turned in. So as I mentioned, we're going to start tomorrow and go in that every other day format. If I assign a homework assignment on Tuesday, it's due Thursday. If there are any issues in turning it in or you need to turn it in late, uh, just contact me and we can work that out. Your summative assessments are your unit exams. We'll have two to finish the year, similarity and transformational geometry. Those are 50% of your grade. And if it's before the end of the marking period, uh, you can do corrections on those. And then your quarterly assessment is 20%. Okay, remember all assessments, whether it be the quarterly, um, the unit exam, or the formative assessments are all to be done on your own. Any quiz or test, you cannot use any of your notes. That's just you, your calculator, and your compass, ruler, whatever tool. But remember, the quarterly assessment is essentially um, open notes. And since we're not going to be creating an index card, uh, you may use your notebook in order to do this assignment. Okay? Remember to take breaks. Okay, so the only part online for me, unless we're meeting one-on-one -on -one or I hold a chat session or... We, I reteach something online. The only time you should be on the computer for me is in watching the videos. You sh shouldn't spend too much time in front of your screen. So remember to take breaks. Um, I'm sending home the packets or the notebooks or workbooks so that you can work in the workbook on paper. Okay? And then take picture of it on your phone, scan it or convert it to a PDF, and then submit it to me. But remember to take breaks. 
okay? You are responsible for your own learning. You get to work at your own pace. That's what's really cool. And um, you're only going to get out of this what you put into it. Okay, so remember to just always do your best. If you're struggling, please don't hesitate to reach out. We can meet up. And um, if you have any issues with deadlines, something comes up at home, I realize that you're doing many things at home maybe you wouldn't normally do. You have more responsibility at home. Okay, so just please let me know. We need to communicate. Communication is important. Okay, I'm here to support you. Uh, we will get through this. Okay, I think we're going to be in this format to the end of the school year, but um, I'm not the person in charge. We're waiting to hear from the governor, but I am sending everything home in preparation for this as I don't want to send things home multiple times. I've worked really hard to put together some materials to get to you. Um, so again, I think we're in this for the long haul and we just need to be patient, do our best, and... Uh, take some breaks it's important I'm here for you if you need any help please don't hesitate to reach out and I look forward to finishing the school year with all of you and whatever format that may be take care